can I pray for you? This prayer is for every trucker or any person that can use it. Today is a great day for you to press through for the breakthrough. The thing about the breakthrough is the first word is break. So you may feel like you're breaking right now, but you're not breaking down, you're breaking through. It's time for you to allow those things that's been holding you back to be broken off of you so that God can take you to the new season for the new things and the new breakthrough that he's going to do for you. So Father God, I just thank you. Lord, I thank you for the breakthrough. Lord, I thank you that we're not breaking down, but Father God, we are breaking through. So Lord, I thank you that what the devil meant to break us with is the very thing that you're going to use to make us. So bless every person that's listening to me today and let them know that you are right there with them through everything. In Jesus name, amen. Love you. You matter. Some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hunting, looking for a comma. This is fucking awesome. Hey, I'm back, guys. So happy Friday to you. Hope everyone's doing well. I just did my uh, pre-trip, just uh, brushed my teeth, and because uh, I gotta, I gotta run this uh, two hundred mile journey. I didn't even have time to shower. They got showers here, but uh, I did get one in last night. I just couldn't settle down, man. Like, I was beat. I was beat up, man. And then uh, I just couldn't sleep last night. I just had a lot of things on my mind. And it's uh, it's different. You know, like, usually when people go through stuff, you know, you got people you could, uh, you know, call and depend on. But it's just hard to learn how to, I guess, handle stuff on your own, you know. And uh, brownie points for a while. We're doing it, man. We do what we got to do. But uh, we're rolling out of the yard now. Uh, me and Trigger on our first journey. And uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little while. All right, let's know how we do, where we do. And supposedly, this one. customer's got a very, very funny dog. So, <laughs> something exciting to look forward to. I'll check you guys in a little while. Boop. Boop. Happy Friday, everyone. Brendan here from uh, the Lone Wild and Trigger Show, Truck of Wild TV. How's everyone doing today? Um, just starting off my Friday, and uh, this this company's banging already. Um, I don't know if you guys heard or saw. Uh, country times going through some stuff, and uh, I messaged my DM in the middle of the night. Um, it was bothering me, and uh, I told him I wanted to come down, and uh, he invited me down. We're gonna do some Bible reading, get him uh, spiritually strong and charged for this fight, and uh. I'm on my way out to, uh, they're deadheading me 200 miles to a customer to pick up uh, a pharma load that delivers down in uh, Macon, Georgia on Monday morning. And like take as many days as you need, take care of your friend, do whatever. All right, so thumbs up so far. So stick around, I'll tell you about the rest of my day. Hey, what's up guys, I'm back. Got uh, my red light sitting at the door. I'm up here uh, at a pharmaceutical joint up here in uh, just outside Appleton, uh, Wisconsin. And I'm uh, heading down to uh, Macon for Monday morning. So the trip is only uh, 1,011 miles. It's only like 15 and a half hours of driving. So I didn't really get much sleep last night. Um, last night was a real tough night. So I finally fell asleep probably like in the wee hours. Uh, just before the sun came up or something like that. So uh I'm going to run. I'm still on core of a tank. I can't believe this truck, how good it is on fuel. Uh, nine and a half. It, it was like nine and a half, nine, seven. So um, the BOL on the order said it was supposed to be 34,000. looks like it could be 36,000. I already let them know. So in case I got to get more money on it or whatever the case may be. But uh, it's going to uh, outside Macon, Georgia. And they're cool. So it's going to give me an opportunity to uh, try to help a friend uh, get spiritually connected well. Get ready for a journey. Um, if you guys could just uh, keep, you know, that dude in your prayers, that'd be awesome. That's all I could ask you to do. You know, it's it's so hard out here, man, anymore. You know, and especially, like, everyone's going through their own stuff, you know. And it's like, we all got our problems. And then all of a sudden, you hear about other people and their problems. And you're very willing to take your problems back, you know. So it kind of humbles you, like, real quick, you know. But... It's uh, it's not easy. I'm glad today um, I was able to help a friend that actually helped me out a couple of weeks back, uh, right before I broke down, uh, was able to 
kind of return the favor, which is a good thing. And that's the brotherhood that that uh, Headsley was talking about in his live feed last night that should be brought back to trucking. Because, you know, besides besides when we're, we all gave each other's asses and we're all beating the hell out of each other, when someone needs somebody, when, when everyone steps up, that's what the brotherhood's about. And honestly, like, that's the way I'd rather be. And like I said, like, I've locked a lot of numbers on my phone. It's not because I'm angry at anybody or anything. I'm just really flying under the radar. That's why I said lone, <laughs> lone wild and trigger straight up. I just, uh, I'm not angry at anybody. I just working on myself, driving along, but this 65 and 67 thing, man, I'm like, come on, you know, but it's, uh, truck is pretty much all set up. Um, I, I got to get a better mattress, I think, or I'm going to take the mattress down from up top. Uh, they were both brand new mattresses, but like they're like the thin, thin pier built ones, like the super thin ones. So the thing I'm unhappy about. It's full-size mattress and everything, but just, uh, yeah, I definitely got to get a topper, or if uh, if I go past Iowa 80, I might crunch in there real quick and uh, spend a couple grand real quick and get a nice mattress. But other than that, I'm just going to do, uh, you know, it's it's not my truck. It's just my responsibility to take care of the truck, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my little, uh, I got my spikes already and stuff like that, and I got to get another CB because the Cobra, my Cobra, my German won't fit up in that cuddy hole gonna need some kind of work so I don't want to change anything around uh, I was talking to Beetle Bailey earlier and he told me something about uh, that I guess a striker makes a radio that fits this model Peterbilt so I'll check it out when I'm down in uh, Georgia because I usually go to that uh, I go to that uh, Petro I think it's on the 385 bypass they got the tattoo shop uh, the DOT physicals everything um, they got a CB shop the chrome shop I'm gonna probably stop in there see what's going on matter of fact my little pony bought me a radio um for uh my t680 from there and uh that's when things were really tight during covid and uh she surprised me it was an awesome awesome day you know and it was awesome she just <laughs> she had surprised me with the cb and then she flew me home for the weekend because it was memorial day and she didn't want me to sit in the truck stop all weekend and i flew home for memorial day and um we went up to her cousin's place and uh they had like a like a kind of like a family party. It was just it was really cool. It was really cool. And then uh, it's so sad like when you're home and then you gotta hit the road. You gotta leave. It's so terrible. But you know it's like you learn. You learn as you go. You know you learn. You learn with age. You learn with wisdom. You know. And uh, I miss I miss my uh, I miss my kids a lot. I miss them. I miss them all so much. You know. And uh, it hurts. But eventually uh, things will things will calm down. Things will be cool. You know, and uh, hopefully uh, things can be worked out. You know, that's all I can hope, things can work out. So it's like uh, you got to practice that uh, patience muscle, you know what I mean? And that's why I say I got to keep my head in the game. You know, I, I got to stick to the script. You know, I got to, I just got to stay out of the limelight, just do my thing and just, uh, just truck, man. That's all I got is just truck. That's all I got to do. So just keep stashing the cash and just be there for, uh, for when it's go time, you know? So... This is probably going to be close to the end of this video because I don't know how much more filming I'm going to do today. Straight up, I'm tired. <laughs> so I'll check back in with you in a little bit. Hey, so we made it. We made made uh, our maiden journey. We're up here in Wisconsin. And uh, we're just going to go in and uh, make sure we're in the right spot. It's multiple warehouses uh, at this facility. It's not marked too well. I got to tell you, a Peter car, I like it a lot. It averaged uh, 9.7 miles to the gallon. That's uh, 65 on the pedal or 67 cruise. So uh, good fuel economy. So good stuff. I'll check back in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So as my days unfolded here, cruising up uh, I-41, coming up through uh, Wisconsin. Beautiful. Love coming through Wisconsin. The rolling hills, the mountains, and everything. All of a sudden, I see. Uh, Someone, uh, someone I know had a meltdown at a, uh, had a receiver. So, uh, remember I told you guys I was going to try to, like, lay low and try not to get involved in stuff or whatever, but, uh, I just want to make sure the kid was all right, and, uh, she is, she's okay, and everything's working out, and, uh, all good things, but it's just, it's amazing, the whole point of this what I want to tell you this, this 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 thing is this: when when you're when you're thinking a certain kind of way, when you're feeling a certain kind of way here, right? Using this and this, you can do so much more for better. 
And uh, this, oh, this thing's killing me still. Basically, in a nutshell, I was able to uh, do something for this kid. And uh, it's good, just like uh, just like back in the day when I was going through my stuff, like when, like really before I realized what was going on. <clears throat> I had a group of friends that always used to talk me off the ledge. You know, uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't understand why, like I felt a certain kind of way, or you know, like bad was good, good was bad. It was like I had everything all twisted. It was like all the story was crazy, and. Uh, it's just so good today to uh, be able to be there for somebody, you know, when they're going through a meltdown, being, uh, you know, a million miles from home, uh, abandoned in the middle of nowhere, and be able to uh, make some doors open for people. That's what brotherhood's about. That's, that's the sort of situation we're going to get back in the truck, you know. So, but uh, my day is rolling on so good, so far so good, everything's well, just chilling me and Trigger, just rolling up the highway. Gotta admit this, gotta admit this. 65 on the pedal, 67 on the cruise, ain't bad. But I'm not used to driving this slow. <laughs> so it's like maybe California won't be so bad to go, uh, you know, if I was gonna go to Cali, I'd have to visit Sergeant Ringo. So I think after, uh, I think after the freight's paying real well going out too, I think after uh, I visit Country Time, uh, I think I'm gonna be taking, uh, we'll see if Sergeant Ringo's gonna be around. Maybe we're gonna take a take a flight out to uh, to uh, West Coast for a little bit and uh, just change the scenery. I love the mountains. I love all this stuff, but and the snow and the cold, man, beating the heck out of my back and getting better and better every day. Like, uh, but it's cold still. My my eyes are running. My sinuses are messed up. Uh, no more sore throat, but I'm still hocking up a lot of garbage. But I I do have the energy back, but like I'm still not right yet. So working on it. Working on it. You heard? Check back with you guys in a little while. Woo-hoo! I'm back. So we just got up here to uh, Racine up in uh, Wisconsin. We're going to chill out this Petro. Got uh, another 13 hours driving to be where we got to be on Monday morning. So we got plenty of time. So I still got five hours on the clock. I mean, technically I could have made this delivery tomorrow, but um, that won't take it to Monday. So it is what it is. It's all good. Uh, it's funny, uh, I gotta tell you, Big A-Hole, uh, White Line Trucking is like, he is the truck stop guru. Whenever I'm like new somewhere or going somewhere, I'm on the phone, like he's like, hey, where you be? I'm like, hey, where you be? We start talking. And I'm like, hey man, you ever check out this Petro over here off 41? He's like, oh yeah, we're seen. Yeah, there's a Culver's right next door. Over here, there's the subway. Then <laughs> He always tells me, he's like, yeah, yeah, there's a titty bar down the street. <laughs> he tells me the whole situation about that whole truck stop. He's like, oh, yeah, they got clean, good water pressure. I'll tell you, probably about 97 degrees, you know. The coffee's right, you know. <laughs> he's funny as hell, but today was a great day. Um, I'm actually really, really tired. I didn't sleep too well last night, so I'm going to call on an early night, you know. Uh, I got me a couple phone calls, and... Uh, Checking out this truck, man. There's an old, uh, old style Freightliner FLD, and it looks like it used to be an old United truck. All done up, real nice truck. Wow. A couple of nice large cars here, real nice ones, man. They have uh, some low boys and stuff like that uh, over on the other side when I first pulled in. But a lot of room here in this uh, in this Petro. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a nice nice shower. Uh, grab a little bite to eat, and then uh, I'll come back. We we'll do some reading, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna lay down. And then once my clock can reset, I'll get up maybe early in the morning. You know, because I have so much time that maybe if I get up like three, four o'clock in the morning, or whatever time I I can reset my clock, I get up and then I can trot out until like lunchtime. Park again, we we'll do the same thing. You know, so like I just get down there, do whatever, and like I already looked on the um, Google image that. It's a gated facility, so it's not like I can even hang out. There's like, um, I gotta find a spot to where I can go to, or you know, run the trip that I just run right in, and then you know, deliver, do what I gotta do, and then uh, take care of what I gotta take care of. So, but all good stuff. I just want to tip my hat to uh, a couple a couple guys reached out for me today. Um, a lot of guys, uh, a lot of people pulling together for uh, 
for uh, for Randy, and that's really really cool. And I appreciate everybody. And uh, I actually left him a message before. We played a little bit of phone tag this afternoon. Um, you're gonna see some big. Uh, you know, this is like what Hensley was saying about brotherhood and trucking. You know, this is what it's all about. You know, doesn't matter who, when, why, or what. When, when someone's in trouble, you're supposed to just act. Just do. You just gotta do. So, and it makes it so much easier to help somebody that that really doesn't mess with anyone anyways, you know what I mean, he's a good guy to begin with, so, um, definitely, uh, let's keep him in our prayers, uh, let's do the next right thing, I'll definitely, uh, check in with you guys tomorrow, uh, at the end here, I'm gonna leave this little clip, this, uh, this was sent to me, and this absolutely, absolutely blew my mind, I want, I want any truck driver or anyone that, that watches me on this platform, just pay attention to this, all right, it'll definitely, uh, uplift you, so remember for today, all right, this is for you, my buddy, Gary Allen, uh, Mr. Australia. You better tell the Joeys that uh, Truck of Wild is coming through soon. Always keep God first. Love your wife like it's her first and last date. Even when she hates your guts, gets an order of protection, ghosts you, probably wants to shoot you in the mouth, run you over with a car, and doesn't love you anymore. Love her like it's her first and last date. Usually everything else comes into play. I will definitely check you guys tomorrow. Love you all.